Okay, solve the following. Ah, okay, we're we're all right. We're all right. We're all right. Um, solve the following. So we multiply it out. Three times two x is six x. Three times four is twelve. Minus five equals three. Six plus two. yeah. So that's six x plus seven equals three. So that's six x equals three minus seven. So 6x equals minus 4, so x is minus 4 over 6, so x is minus 2 over 3. Okay. Graph each of the following. Oh, okay, fine. I'll copy this over. And then we have a simultaneous, cool. All right, uh, all right. Uh, the first one, x is less than or equal to 2.8. So it'll be a line here going to 2.8, which would be about there, including 2.8. This is x less than or equal to 2.8, but x can only be an uh, integer. So that means it has 2, 1, 0, 1, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4. And x is less than or equal to 2.8, where x is a natural number. 2 and 1. And here it's not clear because some people include 0. 0. And some people don't now um i think i think i think i think for the leaving cert and junior cert in the exam uh natural numbers are defined to include zero i think but i'm not certain because I, I i'd have college books and university books where some of them do and some of them don't um there's a wikipedia wikipedia page on whether zero is a natural number or not um i have to google it to know for certain i think for they do include it i'll just put it in blue just so if someone's watching the video you know i'm highlighting the fact that i'm not confident about that um zero one two yeah okay that's simultaneous now there's a couple of ways to do this one you can use substitution method or elimination method doesn't really matter which just can't use graphical method um but i think what i'll do is i'll bring the one to the other side and multiply by four so I'll have 4x minus 4y equals minus 4, and then 2x plus 4y equals 19. Adding, I get 6x equals 15. Ah, oh, ugly. 15 over 6, dividing by 3, that's 5 over 2. Bah. So now um, I have to soak that in to get the y. So 5 over 2 minus y plus 1 equals 0. So that means 5 over 2 plus 1 equals y. So that means 7 over 2 equals y. So the answer is 5 over 2 and 7 over 2, I think. Let me double check that. Yeah, 